God lives and works today. He has the only answer for the growing darkness around us of hatred, destruction, and immorality. It is the kingdom of heaven, and each one of us can be part of it. Listen to today's meditation by Basile Schlink called Life Made Worthwhile. How can we fight the spirit of our time, the waves of unleashed sexuality, destruction, and ruin? There is only one answer. We must help build through our lives the kingdom of God. Only one door leads to this kingdom. We know this from the illustration of the narrow gate. Narrow means that only small things can pass through. I will not fit through this gate as long as I hold on to everything that I desire and everything that I am. Our self-righteousness, for instance, makes us too big to pass through this gate. First, the grace of God must bring us to repent, to recognize daily our guilt towards him and our neighbor. For example, that I've sinned, failed in a certain respect, or made mistakes, used critical or irritated words, and so on. Only then will his kingdom be established. Neither can we pass through this narrow gate into heaven to a true and eternal life if we carry along our covetousness, our unrestrained desire for enjoyment or our greediness. Jesus said, He who loses his life shall save it. He who leaves and gives up, so shall he find. And it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. The words of Jesus are valid today and for all eternity. The kingdom of God belongs only to those who accept the commandments of his kingdom as their binding standard. Jesus has demonstrated to us that life is hidden in sacrifice, since it is love that compels us to make sacrifices, and love is the constructive power of life and joy. Wherever men follow Jesus, the door to heaven will also open for others, for others will be attracted when they see the heavenly kingdom being lived out. Yes, he who has the courage to become poor in spirit for the sake of Jesus will demonstrate the kingdom of heaven. He will have the power not only to erect a bulwark against the moral decay of our people, but also to show others a way, the real way to a new life filled with happiness. You have been listening to a program written by Basile Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.